Hi guys, welcome to my video and today I want to show you how you can use Contact Player in Ableton Live with multiple instruments uh, instead of adding every individual instrument on a separate MIDI track what we will require a lot of CPU so you can use it on a single MIDI track with a few instruments and just add MIDI information to separate tracks what makes things easier so let me show you how to do it okay the first thing you need to do is to add MIDI track for contact itself and another MIDI track for every instrument that you will be using in contact so let's do that right click in set MIDI track in set MIDI track or just use hotkeys Control shift t MIDI track okay we don't need audio in this case let's drag and drop contact in the first track got it now just choose instruments that you will be using in our case drums and bass let's pick this one it doesn't matter got it and let's also add bass I'll take it away and get okay it's gonna take a while so let's just rename our tracks just to keep everything organized it's for the drums and bass Okay, still have time. Let's color code it. Okay, now we have contact loaded with drums and bass. And now we need to assign outputs. So every individual instrument will send audio signal to its separate track in Ableton. We go to output tab you will have a number of channels here it may be different on your computer if you have any presets in my case none of them are assigned to anything so that's why I don't have any sound here so something is wrong here let's fix it we go to add channels we choose number of channels that we need let's say eight it doesn't matter actually it depends on how many instruments you have in your contact player but let's have some extra number of channels depends on mono or stereo you're gonna use we will use stereo in this drop down menu we just assign it to the first channel I will explain it later delete existing channels before creating new ones just check this box and if you want to use it as default configuration in future check this box also click OK now you can see that we have different amount of channels and they are assigned and after we did that contact itself considered to be on stereo 1 the main output will be stereo 1 and if you want this instrument to send signal to separate channel send it to stereo 2 and if you want the third instrument send it to a different channel set it to stereo 3 and so on if you will have another instrument send it to stereo 4 same thing to MIDI where we are going to take MIDI signal from we have drums on MIDI channel 2 and we have bass on MIDI channel 3 so it will be MIDI channel 2 for drums and MIDI channel 3 for bass and now we are done with setting outputs let's go here nothing will happen if you arm this drum channel and play your keyboard because Ableton has no idea where to send MIDI signal to so in order to assign it we go to instruments external instrument drag and drop here and we need to send MIDI signal to contact to the second instrument 
because the first instrument will be contact itself we need to send it to drums separately so we choose second instrument and we will be taking audio from the second instrument stereo 2 same thing about bass external instrument we send MIDI to contact bass is the third one and we take audio from the third instrument and now you can see bass is playing separately drums play separately nothing happens if you play here what we can do just have fun let's do that let's grab some MIDI bass Bye.